Hey, this is Ryan again, and today what we're going to do is we're going to jailbreak and upgrade an iPod Touch to an iPod 3.0 firmware, where you can like copy and paste. It has like a shake to a shuffle feature. It has um, this spotlight search, so you can search basically anything, all contact songs, whatever, it's by typing in a certain name to a uh, a um, bar right here on the um, springboard, and um, yeah, and also what I'll do is I'll continue on this with another video that shows how you can um, put cracked iPhone apps onto here. So you can like um, download it off a website, put it on your desktop, import it into iTunes, and it won't have a problem with that. Then you can put it on your, I your iPod just like any other application, and it'll work perfectly fine. So, uh, alright, let's take a look. Okay, so what we're going to need here is we're going to need uh, Red Snow Windows uh, 0 0.72 and um, the restore file for whichever iPod you have. Mine's an iPod first generation, so it looks like this. Uh, second generation iPod would have iPod 2, comma, da, da, da. and iPhone would have iPhone, um, iPhone, maybe first, or... Uh, second generation or second or third, I forgot how it goes. Da, 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 da. But either way, on iTunes you need to pay $9.95 for this. I have a link in my description that'll get to you for free. So, um, so you need these two things. You need uh, iTunes 8.2 or iTunes 8, the newest one, and um, some time. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go to iTunes, you're going to open up your iPod. You're going to hold down Shift and Restore. Yeah, you, you shift and click at the same time and it'll bring up the uh, box here. What you can do is you're going to locate where you put your downloaded um, uh, firmware because on on, uh, I, on iTunes you have to pay $9.95 for the software which is ridiculous where you can get it for free just as easily. And open that. To say thanks for making Subway Footlongs famous, get any piled high regular footlong for just $5. $5 footlongs. Hurry, a celebration this great won't last long. Alright, now when it's done, this is it's going to um, restore to factory settings and just it'll uh, restart. So just click OK and you know, wait for your iPod to uh, do something cool. And um, yeah. Okay, so now you're here. Now you're gonna come to your set up your iPod because it just um, formatted everything and redid all the stuff. So um, unless you backed it up, which I did here, I can just simply just click that and it'll go through its thing. Alright, so now it's done, finally. After all that shit, it's done. Now, this is what you want to do. You want to close down iTunes and open up the jailbreak file. Or wherever you saved the Red Snow. Open Red Snow and go to Windows and open the application. Now it's going to say um, to find the IPSW file. So you're going to go to Browse and you're going to find where you saved the uh, firmware. And then open it. It's going to process it. And it's good. Now you go next. That's patching, downloading, blah, 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 blah. And it's going to ask you to do some things. It's going to ask you to hold down a few buttons as it instructs you to do it. So you're going to have to uh, follow that. So here it says install Cydia or install Icy. I just install Cydia because Icy is okay, but um, 
Yeah, the city is a little better. Now here it says, um, make sure your device is turned off. So I turn that thing off. And when you turn it off, keep it plugged in the computer. Don't ever unplug it. When it's done, you're gonna have to be a little fast. It's gonna um, instantly tell you to hold the power button down for three seconds. And then while you're holding the power button down, hold down the home button. And then after the for 10 seconds, you let go of the power button, keep your finger on the home button for 30 seconds. Right when you click next, it's gonna do it really fast. So keep your hands ready. Put your finger on the um, power button right now. And go. And it's gonna jump break. Okay, once it's done, you click finish and let it do its thing. Okay, now once that's done, it should look a little bit like this. There should be a little pineapple dude, and it'll say installing these things, and let's wait for that to finish. Okay, and eventually, it'll, uh, when it's done, it'll reboot. And you can unplug the iPod, you can keep it plugged in, whatever you want to do. I'm going to unplug mine. And I want to go into iTunes and start syncing crap automatically. I just want to uh, play around it a little, a little bit first. Alright, so once that's done, you can go into settings, and um, here you go. Right there. Version 3.0, if you can see that. And thanks for watching, and um, don't forget, subscribe. Subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Until then, I'm Ryan. Keep watching Ryan's kind of stuff. Peace.